All right, today we're going to try a simple little exercise in programming. And rather than try and uh, describe what I'm doing afterwards, and after I've captured the video, I'm going to record it directly off the monitor, even though obviously this doesn't give as nearly as nice a picture. But you'll be able to, I'll be able to tell you what I'm doing as I'm doing it, and it's simpler that way. So this, this is what you're going to get. Uh, today's program... Uh, is to input a number and tell you whether it's even or odd. So first of all, we in line 10, we input number for the prompt, semicolon and n for our variable number n, easy variable. Uh, now 20, if n is not equal to the integer of n, then of course that means it's not a whole number because if n is a whole number the integer will be the same. So if it's uh, if n is not equal to the integer of the n, then that's shorthand for print. Question mark is shorthand for print. When we list it later you'll see that it's print. Uh, whole numbers please And then we go to 10 to input a number again. All right, 30. If n divided by 2 equals the integer of n divided by 2, then for those to be equal, n has to be even. So when it's divided by 2, you get a whole number, which is the same as an integer of n divided by 2. If it were odd, it would be a number plus a decimal point, And it wouldn't be the same as the integer. So if that's true, then n string equals even. And of course, if that's not true, then I said else in string equals odd. Now in line 40, we print the number semicolon so we don't get a line feed, and then whether it's even or odd. And then line 50, I'm, this is a simple program, so I won't tell the person how to exit. But in line 50, if n is not equal to 0, then we go to 10. So if it's anything other than then 0, then the program runs again and we choose a new number. If it's 0, the program still runs, but it ends. Now let's try it. We run, and if it's 1.1, it's whole numbers, please. So it, that part of it seems to work. Let's see now if we put in 1. That's odd. 2 is even. 1.13 is odd. 12 is even, 123 is odd, 124 is even, we put in zero, it's even, and we stop. So it appears that the program's worked. We list the program again, a very short program, but it does show you what could be done back in the old 8-bit days when every computer came with BASIC. In fact, most of them, when you booted them up, that's where you were. You were in BASIC, and you could write some... Anybody could write, learn to write a simple program, and a lot of people learned to write some fairly sophisticated programs. And uh, this is just a, a short demonstration of what can be done, and maybe later on I'll just demonstrate uh, something a little more complicated in a longer video.